focusing on the crucial meeting at Davos. The business and political leaders gathered in the Swiss Alps for the World Economic Forum's annual summit. The Davos Forum is back following a two-year break due to the pandemic. And while the bigwigs enjoy the clear blue skies, concerns have been raised over the dark clouds looming on the world's economy. Since the last in-person meeting, a lot has changed. First, there was the coronavirus pandemic that disrupted global supply chain. And just when things started looking hopeful came the Russia-Ukraine war. The war in Eastern Europe has led to a spike in fuel prices across the globe. It has triggered inflation even in the world's wealthiest economies. Now, these price rises have undermined consumer confidence. They have shaken the world's financial markets, prompting central banks, including the U.S. Federal Reserve, to raise interest rates. Speaking on the global financial concerns, the German Vice Chancellor and Economy Minister Robert Habeck warned the leaders about the very real possibility of a recession. We have high inflation in some of the countries in Europe, in the US and a lot of other countries. We have an energy crisis, you must call it this way. We have food poverty and we have the climate crisis. And we can't solve the problems if we are only concentrating on only one of the crises. But if none of the problems are solved, I'm really afraid that we are running into a global recession with a tremendous effect not only about uh, on, on, on climate protection and climate action, but of the global stability at all. Remember that last month the IMF cut its global growth outlook for the second time this year. The international agency said that the war in Ukraine and inflation is a clear and present danger for many countries. Meanwhile, IMF's managing director said that although there is a war and tighter financial conditions, she is not expecting a recession yet. The IMF chief has warned against geoeconomic fragmentation. Uh, Georgieva said the costs of further disintegration would be enormous across countries and people at every income level would be hurt. No, not at this point. It doesn't mean... So let me start with... Now, for more on this, we are being joined by our business editor, Sumit Chochevedi from Davos in Switzerland. Hello to you, Sumit. What are the possible solutions that are being discussed to these global problems? Uh, beginning with the uh, uh, discussions here, uh, they are clearly aimed at uh, stopping the world from becoming worse as far as the economy is concerned. So stakeholders, including business leaders, political leaders and other thought leaders, they have come together. The solutions are being looked at, including uh, possible uh, increasing the growth growth outlook, uh, more and more trade, increasing cooperation and how to keep the war clouds that are hovering above now uh, over the, uh, the Europe, the one part of Europe, how to keep them away from other parts of the world. That is something which is really, really uh, being discussed here. Uh, supply chain issues are being discussed here because that we have seen really troubled a lot uh, and also dented economies of the world. Supply chain issues can be solved by better cooperation among nations, among business leaders, with the companies and thought leaders they're all discussing the how to to better have the supply chains and better come together also inflation is a big concern uh, which is being discussed here that can be solved by increasing product productivity and increasing or even opening up trade though the countries have the right to uh, stop exports or imports of the things they want to stop but in, over, going forward if there is more and more trade then inflation can really be checked oil is a one issue and uh, that can be discussed here with the Gulf countries, uh, Saudi Arabia, UAE, they are all present here and it, they are being requested to increase oil production so that the oil prices, which are the major cause of inflation in the world, that can be brought down. Remember, uh, till last year, it was not that bad beginning of the year has brought the oil prices to a level which have not been seen in the last few years. So that is some uh, biggest concern here. So it is being talked uh, or discussed with the Saudi Arabian leaders, UAE leaders, that how oil production can be further increased so that their prices, the prices are uh, are in check and that's what will bring down inflation. And interest rate one, the central bank governors are all here. Uh, they will have to think about interest rates. Interest rates are, are the thing that led to uh, shifting of money from one country to another. So all these possible solutions are being discussed here in Davos World Economic Forum. 
Right, and Sumit, what is India's role? How can India be a part of the solution? Well, we have seen over the last few year, years, one or two years, uh, the kind of a COVID-19 pandemic that struck the world. India, uh, in a way, had a different take on all that. It treated the whole pandemic in a different way. The healthcare sector of India, though, yeah, there, yes, there are some shortcomings here. Uh, what we have in good uh, c capacity and quantity is our, our vaccine manufacturing capacity. Adar Punawala, uh, for, uh, I was talking to him uh, just a short while ago. Uh, well, clearly, the, uh, the kind of vaccinations we have uh, provided to the world and the, uh, our self-sustainability in vaccination, that has really been our one of the solutions to this world problem. Also, healthcare workers from India, they are they go to uh, many parts of the world. The training infrastructure for healthcare is quite good uh, in India. So these are the possible solutions that India can provide manufacturing and raw materials definitely India has in abundance. Wheat was one issue uh, till a few weeks ago. Uh, it was discussed that India can solve the world's hunger problem because India's wheat can somehow replace the shortcomings or shortages felt from Ukraine. But India stopped wheat on, on certain, uh, certain, certain countries or certain deals. So that is something which is all of a concern here. But yes, India can also play its part in, in tackling the global problems. The oil is not India's, India's clear domain but yes other places India can really contribute a lot and what uh, does the schedule look like for today which world leaders are about to participate in the discussions Uh, beginning with Israel's president to Netherlands uh, head of state, all these are going to uh, discuss here. They, ha they are going to have the conferences here. They are going to have the debates here. Cybersecurity is one of the issues which are, is being uh, debated upon here also because cybersecurity, we have seen the increasing threat of uh, cyber attacks across the world. That is something which is going to uh, be discussed here much in details from the side of economy. Our deputy uh, uh, MD of IMF, uh, Gita Gopinath, is going to be here and many other uh, dignitaries and economists are going to be here discuss about the possible uh, solutions to the world problems but the most important thing is walking the talk that has to be the most important thing uh, while we are here absolutely so thank you very much for bringing us all the latest coming out of davos we are now available in your country download the app now get all the news on the move